What is going on guys? I am traveling and I thought now would be the best time as ever to review something that many of you guys have asked I check out for some time and that is a Bullworker. Now this product was not sent to me. I did go ahead and pay money for this so I'll be giving you guys my honest review on this thing. I'll be going over my initial uh, thoughts and impressions about this. I'll talk about some pros and cons. I'm going to be putting it through a workout and showing you guys how I personally would use it and kind of what I think of the workout after the fact. And at the end, I will give you guys my overall summary, who I think would benefit from using this and if I think this thing is overall worth your money. Now, if you guys are interested in this product and you guys like what you guys are seeing, greatly helps support me and fund subsequent reviews if you guys click that link down below in the description box. But at the very least, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and there will be timestamps down below to help navigate this video. All right, first, I just want to talk about what this thing is and why I'm reviewing it. I actually want to credit Steve. Stevie Richards in our previous interview. If you guys didn't check that out, I highly recommend you guys do that. We started getting into isometrics and that's kind of what this device is known for. Uh, just to be clear, I'm actually reviewing the Bow Classic. There are other Bullworker items out there, there's some smaller ones. But he, after talking with him, he actually gave me some other ideas, some other future products. I said, hey, do you care if I go ahead and review this as well? Because he actually did an awesome review, which I'll link his down below as well if you guys want to check that out. Uh, he said, no, definitely go ahead. And so also because you guys kept asking me about this so much. If you don't know what this is, it's like this kind of compact exercise device. It's been around since I believe the 60s. If you're over the age of like 60, 65 plus, you for sure have seen this. It has an interchangeable kind of spring system. Uh, various springs, I'll talk about the various tensions. We essentially just you know swap these things out uh, and load it and you're ready to go. I kind of showed this to people who don't even exercise at all. that are kind of in, you know, in that 65 plus 70s range and they knew exactly what this thing was. There's been knockoff products throughout the year, but this is still the original own company it's a family owned company which is pretty cool but there are some people that have kind of mixed emotions about this some people are some you know famous strength coaches and uh just resistance resistance training athletes that have promoted its use and actually grew up using the bulwarker so think it's awesome for things like isometrics but then there's some people that look at this thing and said you know what this thing it's you know kind of defunct there's other things that are better nowadays to actually use does this thing still have a place or purpose? And I certainly knew what a bullworker was. And the real reason I didn't review this thing, because a lot of you guys ask that I review this because I do like talking about low footprint, small home gym items, not big machines. That's why I talk about total gyms and Saudi men's trainers. Uh, but the main reason was I just, I guess it didn't really catch my attention because it didn't look like something that I was really interested in wanting to do. It didn't look like something that interesting to me. Uh, granted, I was also thinking this is more like for isometric type holds. Uh, didn't seem like the most fun workout for me, at least me personally. But after kind of looking at it a little bit closer, again, even talking to Stevie a little bit and then going back to look at some of your comments, I'm like, you know what, this does make sense. I should definitely be reviewing this, at least check it out. So that's why I pulled the trigger and went ahead with the purchase. It comes in this little kind of a carrying case and you'll notice if you check out Stevie's uh, video, his has a different case, different bow classic look. His has more like the steel version. This has this, I don't know what you want to call this type of material, but uh, a little sensitive. I just put it outside in this little gravel just now. I already kind of chipped it and dinged it. I don't think you guys can really see that. So that's not cool. But I've heard great things otherwise about the uh, just how good, how good quality this thing is and how long it lasts. Even these cables and even these grips I heard last a while. Gives you guys a nice little manual full of exercises and even some programming options. I also have you guys reference the website. There's a nice little exercise drop down menu that has a lot of kind of visuals just getting right to the point of some great exercises to do on it. But I could see for the general person, especially if you didn't have that manual, just looking at like, what do I do with this thing? Like, how do I program it? Is there a certain right and wrong way to do it? Am I supposed to do like isometric type programming and holds? Uh, what kind of spring settings should I start with? All sorts of stuff. I'll get into how I'm gonna use it, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. I would find, just like I recommend with the Total Gym or anything, any device, honestly, find exercises that work for you, get it clear kind of what your goals are and just kind of have fun with it and don't overthink it too much. I think it's priced pretty good as far as being around $200 retail uh, for the, as far as the durability and quality and kind of what you're getting, I think it's fair. All right, so you guys are basically watching the workout I performed and granted, I kind of knew what I was getting into a little bit. This is more like a recovery day. I've been really honestly uh, very sore. Muscles have been feeling like the X3 resistance band volume along with my side, typical side immense training. So uh, being on kind of like a mini vacation here, this is some, I kind of was taking advantage of that regard. But still, as I was starting to do this, I wanted to try and chase that muscle pump, trying to do more muscular endurance. But as you start doing it, you do find yourself going into isometrics because yes, you can do like range of motion, kind of pumping type typical resistance training. Because of the limited range of motion, you will just start going into holds because you can't do much else because it's going to stop on you. So the workouts are different. It's not a typical workout. Even if I was sore and fatigued, if I started doing resistance bands, my typical uh, signing men's training stuff, I can get in the groove in the flow state and I'll start going to town. This one around 20 minutes, I was like, I did 20 minutes, like I stopped it at 20 minutes on my little workout thing on my watch. 
I was like, I kind of had enough. It was like, I, I kind of got the gist of it and that was kind of enough for the day. If I had something next to me, I definitely would have jumped on to something else. So as far as like a travel device, as far as a workout's concerned, if you're do, using this for like a typical resistance training, feeling that pump and burn of say resistance bands, maybe even a suspension trainer, I would more so gravitate towards those things. That's just my personal opinion than maybe opting for this. This is just different. So I'm gonna jump right into kind of pros and cons here with the pros. What I found myself doing with this thing more often than not, it is naturally a great isometric device. I think the tension on it is great. Uh, the red is the hardest spring, black second to hardest. Gray is like my sweet spot and gray's in here right now. Gray is the one that I could sit here and just kind of do reps on. The resistance is good. Uh, legs, you're gonna be limited. Um, I won't get into going into cons here, but the pros, I think it's well designed. It serves its purpose for what it kind of does as a compact thing. Granted, this thing was made in the 60s, so the fact this is still the classic design, would something like this still be kind of sold? I don't know, because there's so many other things at your disposal, like resistance bands, it's kind of hard to say. But what I'd say the pros for this thing are, is its compact isometric nature of, I almost would treat this thing as like a hand gripper, where you have something kind of next to you, like in your office or your home, when I had this thing for a few days, what I tended to do, this thing was sitting next to me, like next to our, like our couch in our uh, living room. And I just kept kind of doing reps. I just kind of wanted to kept playing on it. Or even now, like on vacation, I'm, I got, my kids are jumping on it. I'm just, this is next to me. I'm just doing stuff. So I think this could build kind of like that isometric farmer strong strength of doing repetitions and holding holds for a period of time. Muscle hypertrophy, I'm not saying you can't do it. I guess I haven't enough experience to experiment with that. Uh, I just think there's better options of doing muscle hypertrophy, better tools at your disposal. But as far as like getting isometric hold strong, that kind of farmer strong strength with the various band tensions, this thing is great. So if you're looking for something like that, like you're like me and you got like undiagnosed ADD and you're just kind of moving around and you always like moving if you're kind of sluggish, you want to do something. This thing having next to you uh, is definitely very cool and it's handy, fairly portable. Again, you, there's the portable, like smaller one, which might be a better option for you guys. What is cool about this is the fact, I think for all ages and abilities, and for some people, this gives people options. Like some people have a lot of conditions where they can't do stuff. If you're looking for something that I would say is like a good device for like your chair, this would be something like that. The other pro that's worth noting is that I'm talking about using it for its sole use. If you're using this thing as supplementing with other stuff in your gym, uh, supersetting with that low footprint, again, I call it primitive home fitness type of setup that I tend to recommend and gravitate towards, this thing could be valuable, but it's up to you if you feel like, am I gonna really use some of these exercises? Now, as far as the cons or the negatives of this product, some people might say this thing is a little bit too big. Now, they make a smaller version of that, I think it's not that big, honestly. You could probably pack this in a suitcase and be fine with it. The biggest con though, probably for most people, is it's gonna be its natural, just its design and function. Some people will not like the fact that this can feel very limiting in range of motions. I mean, it can almost be uh, kind of cumbersome. Like you wanna do just a little bit more, it forces you in this limited range of motion, again, which kind of makes it more inviting for things like isometrics. But if you're looking for something that is a portable device that you can travel with, go outside and work out, Granted, you don't need door anchors like a resistance band. It's just a different type of resistance training workout kind of feeling. So I think resistance bands might be a better option for some people, especially for portability sake. But I really think the cons are gonna be in the eye of the beholder of what you're using it for. If you're gonna use it for things like straight isometrics, I think this thing just makes a lot of logical sense. If you're looking for something, like I said, more resistance training, more muscle pump type muscle fiber tear, stuff like that, I think you're gonna want something else and you might find this thing Maybe a little cumbersome, maybe annoying. But those are my overall initial thoughts. Granted, there are things that I use, guys, that my mind kind of changes a little bit. The easiest example, like I've been saying, referring to, is the X3. I did not like that thing at first. Really kind of fell in love with it. This could be one of those things. I just don't know. I think it really come, boils down to if you like isometrics, if you start playing around with it, and that's something that's of interest to you, I think this will be one of your best friends. Uh, if it's something, like I said, you want to keep next to you at your office, next to your couch, and just do a couple exercises, you might get a tons of use out of this thing. Otherwise, very well-made product. I'm sure it'll last if something does happen or it breaks or have issues with it. I will always pin a comment at the top of this review to give you guys an update on that. Any questions, comments, feedback, any suggestions on how I can better use this thing, for sure let me know, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.